Alright, how's it going guys? So, today we're going to take a break on what we have been working on and we're going to set up our Covrax processing, enrichment processing here. And we just got this research the other day and we've got this where our 235 is being put into this chest here. Uh, wait a minute. That's not supposed to be 235. That's supposed to be 238. That's supposed to be 235. We need to change that out to a filtered one to make sure it only picks up 238. There we go. And then the 235 will come back through here, which I really need to put this here instead of where I have it. So let's copy this and we're going to put it there. And then, oops, I'm not doing that. Give me all of that. And we'll take that as well. All right, so that'll take care of our 238. And our 235 will come out down here. We can get rid of this one. And we can throw the rest of that in there. So these guys are all running production three and then I have a beacon for all of them but this one right here to keep up on our 238 that we need we will get 235 out of them occasionally but not very often and I'm guessing with the amount of these that we have running we're probably not going to be able to do more than one or two of these and we need five uranium 238 and 40 uranium 235 to do this process and we get 41 and two back out of it so we're making one uranium 235 basically out of three uranium 238 so what we're going to do here is I'm going to grab a stack of this and we're going to split it into here and here. And then we need to get our output from here and we need to run it back into right here. So actually what I think we're going to do is we're going to go this way. Um, actually, let me think for a second here. Because we don't want it to instantly get picked up and put off the belt. We want it to come back around so it can repeat this process again. I'm just trying to think of a way that I could have it come out and go back in first. And I think I know a way to do that. I basically do it already over here. Um, on our, on these right here. Where I just tell it to make sure it goes this way first. But here we're going to have to do it kind of on a, a double one.
So if we do this, and then we have this come back around, we have that go in. This is going to be the priority. Yeah, that'll work. And then we can just run this one along the top here. Like I said, I don't think we're going to use these two, but we can do it like this. I'm And then we can just have this dump right down there. And then we can do the same thing uh, here. Except we're going to have that in the way. I didn't think about this before I built this area. I don't quite have the room here. And see, that's going to put it immediately out onto that belt. And that's, it's completely negating going there. I'd have to put it here. But I still don't think that's going to work. Give me these. Uh, we might have to move the bullet area up just a bit. Because that's the only real issue here. Let me throw that back in there. And we'll throw these over here. Yeah, we've got room to do so. Give me a minute. Let me make a little bit more room. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got that moved up just a bit here and it looks like they've got everything set back up we just need to give it power and drop off all of those bullets so we don't make too many more of them that we don't need at the moment and what i basically did was just copied over this one and then each one of them will output onto that belt and these two are currently running because we have enough uh, feeder uranium to feed the first process and so that is running so we can start turning our regular uranium into 235 and you can see it is working very well now see this one here is kind of what I was worried about um, because we have 238 sitting on the belt now granted I threw a bunch of extra in there which could be the reason why um, but I think we need to, I want to see if we can do this. We can't run off of there, but we could run off of here. So if I did this one and had it read, uh, I don't even want to read stack size really I just want to know I don't want to go there hold on what I want to do is go to the belt so if I go to that belt and I have this read content and then I have this one read the 238 and we want to set this for greater than zero so if 
what it reads there is greater than zero. No, no, no. Less than one. Not greater than zero. Less than one. Okay. So if there's anything in that area, it's automatically going to shut this one off so it cannot put any in. And it'll eat the ones that are there first, so we can get the 235. Because the other option is... Which might actually be a better option now that I think about it. Uh, let's try this. If I actually want to cut this... I'm just going to take this out. And we're basically going to move it up here for the moment. We'll just let them sit it there. And then we're going to do basically the exact same thing. Uh, you want to put them in the right spot there, butthead. There, there. Alright, so we're going to set this to filter 235. And we're going to split that across here. So then the 235 is the only thing that's going to go on this loop. So then we'll cut this out. And we'll put it... Right back... Uh, how do I want to do this? Yeah, let's do it just like that. Except not like that. Okay. So then, connect all of these up. And then the 235 that comes out will get split between here and here. And then it will go through the loop that says come back down and feed back in. And, oh crap, this one's kind of a mess here because there's no gap between them. Let's see. And then basically I would be doing that and sending the 238 right on out of here. The 235 would be coming back around. That actually works. The only issue with doing it this way or the other way is that I'm sending this this direction. Because that's not going to feed back into our main line right here. And we really want to feed back into that main line. And we can actually do that if we do it like this, that'll keep that bottom line full. So then we can have this come across here. And we want it to feed into right there. Other than the fact that I just put all these backwards. Alright, so that'll feed into there. The only is this one is I'm going to have to split these to give these room. So let's take that part out. And then we're going to just copy this. And we'll paste it there. And then we can always do 
another one there if you choose. Alright, so now this can go ahead and mix in with that one up there. It's a bit of a thing, but I think it'll work well. It's, it's kind of strange, but I think it'll work well. And I like convoluted messes. It's kind of what I do. So basically this is going to make it feed over here. Um, we need that there, and that there, and then, so this is going to split between 235, which is going to go that way, and the 238 is going to go that way, and the 238 is going to feed back down here onto this belt to get used. Okay, there we go, the 238 goes down. 235 goes in. Yeah. It's looking good. It's a little strange, but it's looking good. Get a couple more belt fixes in here. There we go. So now they can all run. And then any of the 235 that comes down through this way has the option to get picked up by these guys and ran back in. Yeah, I think that'll work well. We don't have a whole lot of 235 in there right now, but that's fine. We got plenty of 238 for what we need. So yeah, I think this will work good. And we have production modules in there to keep things going just a bit. Give us a little bonus every now and then. Although I think I may take out the production ones and put in speed ones just for these. Um, not real sure how well the productions will actually work. And speeds might be a little bit more important. And just so you guys know, we're doing this not because we need the 235 for uh, fueling a reactor, because we have so much thorium, we really don't need uh, 235 for reactors. I'm doing it because I want to start making the nuclear fuel that needs 235. So once all of these get um, stocked up with 235, then we'll go ahead and set up a thing to start making nuclear fuel because that nuclear fuel is 1.1, 1 1.21 1 .1 gigajoules versus our 100 megajoules from the regular rocket fuel. And it's only one rocket fuel and one 235 to make that. So that is what we're going with for the moment. And we are still working on our new ceramic setup over here that we were ended with in the last live stream. So we need to get that finished up. We're probably going to do another live stream uh, this weekend so we can get this finished up. I did go ahead and set up the old system so we can continue to make red circuits because we weren't making any because we didn't have any ceramic at the moment. Because uh, we were working on that, but I basically just set this system back up for the moment So it can run the only problem is uh, well 
Only problem is it can't completely run as well as it should because we don't make enough steam. But as you can see, it's working well enough to keep the belt full at the moment. And it's only keeping the belt full at the moment because our iron is doing terribly with only one belt, one blue belt over here. So, and it, oh, it looks like it's you, but for some reason it just doesn't look like that bolt. belt's quite as full as it should be, but maybe it is. Um, so I'm going to have to run another iron belt over here. The fact that it's split here uh, isn't a major issue. This is a major issue. That's why that doesn't work full. We're only bringing red belt over. All right, so I'm gonna get that upgraded and then probably send <coughs> another belt over from our new iron area. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're all kind of turned off at the moment and not really doing anything. So I'm gonna work on getting that done in that next live stream. We're probably not gonna have a video on Friday unless I can get a live stream done or then to get some of this stuff done. Because um, I'm really enjoying doing the uh, live streams rather than sitting here doing all of this work by myself. And so we will see if we have a video on Friday or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll get this uh, 235 going and start making us some nuclear fuel. And I do need to play with the new train, so maybe we'll do that on Friday. We'll see. But anyways, have a good one. Thanks to my patrons and channel supporters. If you're interested in becoming either of them, check out the Links in the description below, and I will see you guys later.